Now, as we have been promising you, this is the amazing Novellos. Uh, yeah, this is Severin Tyson. Ticking clocks Of holding the key to your heart And finding it don't fit its lock Cause I know, I know that I loved you You're so scared it won't last Across the border into the night Heart as I move away from your life Cause I know, I know Our souls are intertwined I'm so scared to sever ties Across the border into the night I feel a chill in my heart As I move away from your life Cause I know, I know Our souls are intertwined I'm so scared to sever ties I take my chance and I take my leave Well, I hope you follow me And you know what it means To lose what you need I take my chance and I take my leave Well, I hope you follow me You know what it means To lose what you lose No, I don't the night I feel a chill in my heart as I move away from your light I'll take my chance and I'll take my leave well I hope you follow me you know what it means to lose what you need I'll take my chance and I'll take my leave well I hope you follow me you know what it means to lose what I lose what you need was amazing how are <laughs> you get around here get around get you on this one or that one um directions go go around go around run, man, um, just run. to set the scene run, a little bit for people listening at home we've got some very hairy microphones in our face very like penises <laughs> yes. hairy hairy bear penises <laughs> badger penises will, we can say penises because have you heard the colin murray jingle no we got, when we met colin murray on saturday night we had a chat to him and he just loved talking about penis and he went, it's okay, I work I at Radio 1, and it, it's him, okay to like do it. A bit of bare penis. He's he got, he got us a little jingle where he talks about them. But m- moving on to, on to Saturday night, how'd it go? I mean, I was there, it was amazing. No, how was a, it for you guys? We had a cracking night. I we did, we really enjoyed it. And playing the Vicky Hall is just so insane. Just You can't get your head around it to walk out there and play to that many people. Yeah, and yet again, we've had the biggest turnout yet. Like, the, the whole thing's snowballing. We're getting more people coming on every time, and obviously profile of celebrities that are coming we had Alexa Chung at the side of the stage we had Ar- Arctic Monkeys I know what was that about when he suddenly turned up and I don't know you remember that Alexa Chung's face <laughs> yeah it, it messed me up anyway because I was halfway through a song and then I turned around and see Alex and there's Alex turning yeah. Miles Kane standing there exactly man it was a bit confusing do you think they tu- no, no, they may have turned up people will say that they turned up to see Alexa Chung I'm under the impression <laughs> they heard the novellos were playing they were there for us man well I don't know did you chat did you get a chance to have a word with him it was point? a quick alert but I think he was more interested in um, going Copping for Alexa Chung and yeah. uh, getting his leg yeah. over. It's but fair play to a man who, who in the room didn't want to do that. So she's got funny little legs. Uh, personally, legs. what she was wearing. If you want to talk about Alexa Chung and she how attractive like she is, I'm torn, mate. You can't see anything. 
<laughs> you don't know what's going on there. She could be a skeleton underneath that dress. Who knows? Well, it's probably quite likely to be. She's got a pretty face. If, yes. if you're listening, Alexa, she refused to do an interview with us, actually. So I'm, she's not, I was I'm there. not best friends I was with present. her. I was present. I saw her. She snubbed you, me, she everyone. Snubbed. Her bodyguard gave me a little of a shove and said, No way, mate, it's not happening. Yeah, well, well. Yeah. It happens, doesn't it? Comedy, <laughs> cockney, pirate accent. <laughs> Possibly, yes. It's entirely necessary. Um, so, best showcase yet? or Oh, definitely. Yeah. The favourite? For us, it was better. I mean, they, they get better every time. And the next one is in February. I hear the date. Well, I just went for a drink with the boss, and he says the 19th of February. So be there. Have you got any names for that yet? Or Well, apparently we're looking at some others. Stephen Lack's going to come again. Come again, right. Um, I hear rumours of uh, various acts. Maybe the Mighty Boosh. We don't know. Oh, hell, imagine if Noel Fielding turned up. Exactly. We don't know. They'd that. put on a good show if they did. Exactly. Stuart Marconi from Radio 2 is going to come up. Um... Mate, I think we're going for DJs this time, man. Yeah. A lot, a lot of DJs have said they want to get down here and uh, and see what it was all about. So we'll see, see what happens. Um, at the end of the night, I was upstairs outside your dressing room, and I overheard a little bit of a conversation between you and the the lady with the brown hair. She was looking after uh, Colin Murray. Said something about someone come looking for you. The, they were really impressed. <laughs> uh, is there any gossip here? Uh, I heard that the sub editor Ren- enemy was there. No. Well, yeah, there was. No, there was a lot. It was a bit manic after the gig to be honest. Apparently, there was a lot of people that wanted to talk to us, etc. But uh, there's, there's a few promoters in London that want to get us down there and whatnot. And uh, someone wants to put us back on. The, the same set as Alexa Chung, she's going to play a DJ set, that kind of thing, and we'll play after. But we don't know, man, we'll just uh, wait for the phone call. So there's a lot of people guess. sniffing around at the moment. Oh, well, yeah. Well, we knew you before you were big, boys, that's all I'm saying. Here we are in live session before Joe Wiley's got you in the uh, live lounge. <laughs> well, to be honest, I quite like this set off. I could come, I come here off from. It's quite DIY, isn't it? I think yeah. we should have bought a few uh, beers Good there, I think that might have added to it. We'll go downstairs afterwards, that's so all right, we'll add to it then. What's going on with a new single and an album? Well, right. Oh, I'm a bit confused. I'm shaken up. At first, the next single was going to be Not So Sure. Excellent. Which I'm going to perform next. Thumbs just, up from me. Just for the sake of. But I just went for a drink with the boss, stroke producer. Who is this and, boss that uh, you talk about? Well, the That's producer is. Are you, are, you, are you guys not the bosses? Uh, it's a bit like Charlie's wow. Angels. We don't know who he is. We just speak to him for. No. It's, uh, Seb Clark is effectively our producer. Right. And, uh, he was watching our set from the side and uh, he said the best vibes that we, we had were to a completely different track, which. For the moment, we'll go unnamed until we're confident that's going to be the next single. But it was going to be not so short, and the artwork was doing a lot. And uh, but it was a tasty bit of artwork. Who designs the um, sleeves? I'm going to give her a shout out right now, Ellie Ellie Stringer, uh, our in-house artist. Otherwise songs. known as Ellie the artist. Yeah, Ellie the artist, just because I can't remember usually <laughs> name or pronounce the second half of a name. So. But yeah, big thanks to her. She does all the artwork for all the Sun's acts, and uh, she does a cracking job. So, mm. so what about the album? I've heard rumours. It's coming. It's coming. We don't want to rush it. I mean, this was a guy had a conversation with Chris Hawkins from Six Music. Just just, there as well, he and he was well, yeah. Well, we had a chat with him, trying to get some work experience, to be honest. And uh, he was saying how great it was that you guys aren't forcing it all out, and that you take all this time over each single, and you put so much effort in to yeah, get the best it. recording. Yeah, we're so laid back. I mean, is that the case, or is it that you're all lazy? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, arguably a bit of both. I'd rather just get it all done and that kind of thing. But we have quite a uh, perfectionist working on it. Yeah, we won't send it out there until it's completely ready. Which is which I completely agree with. We've got a rough date. Have you recorded any yet? We've recorded Not So Sure's down. Right. Uh, we've got a few other tracks down for the album. We've got a B-side down for the next single, um, which is actually written by written by Ed, our drummer, and uh, that's sounding cracking. But um, aside from that, we're, we're not even a quarter way through so that. So next yet. year, time late. We're next. looking at summer. Summer. We're going for a summer release, hopefully. If all snowballs and goes well up until then, we'll, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll have the album in your hands by then if you want it. Brilliant. Oh, we'll, be, we'll be ordering our copy. <laughs> we'll send you through. We love you that much.